Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, disc brake systems and uh, how they work. So when it comes to disc brakes, you basically have two different type of uh, disc brake systems. Uh, you got sliding or known as floating calipers or you got uh, fixed caliper. And uh, so basically how uh, brake pads, uh, disc brake pads work in general is you have a rotor spinning and you have the pads that squeeze them and stop that rotor, rotor from spinning which is in conjunction to your wheels. Now the difference between a, a sliding and a fixed one is, uh, as you can see, the different parts to a system is uh, you have your rotor that spins with your wheel and on both sides of it you have uh, brake pads. You have one on each side and then over it you have the uh, caliper and inside the caliper you got the brake fluid. So when you push on the pedal you're, uh, pushing, you're pushing that pressure through hydraulic pressure which then turns it into uh, mechanical pressure. And uh, so the difference between this is, uh, between these two, is uh, on this sliding caliper you have usually one piston on one side and when you press it, so kind of at the small level, usually brake pads are like usually always in conjunction with the uh, rotor, they're always touching but there's just no pressure on it. So when you push on the brake pedal that uh, piston will move just a little tiny bit and once it moves and engages it starts pushing backwards and when it starts pushing backwards this caliper will slide and engage the pad on this side so again this inside piston uh, this uh, brake pad is getting applied by the piston and it kind of pulls the caliper backwards and uh, this piston uh, or uh, this brake pad it gets a uh, applied to it from the caliper. So that's why it's known as a sliding caliper because it'll slide backwards. And you have uh, what are called uh, sliders in here that it runs on. So when it's sliding backwards, it's basically like a, almost like a bearing that it rides on. Uh, when you do uh, brake pads, you always want to take out those sliders and re-lube them because they can uh, get seized up and you have to replace the whole caliper. Uh, the other kind, uh, fixed calipers, those are basically pretty simple. That uh, caliper right there is fixed there and it stays. And because you have pistons on both sides, both pistons just simply engage the pads on both sides and break evenly across it. Uh, so that's basically the difference. Again, this piston over here sliding will engage the piston, pull the caliper backwards and engage it the other brake pad on the other side and these ones evenly break across it. Uh, some of the uh, advantages and uh, disadvantages of these uh, fixed ones that have multiple pistons is uh, like I said uh, even pressure and they are bigger and better performance. So pretty much race cars a lot of times have these. Any of your basic uh, uh, sports and supercars will always have these. They'll have uh, sometimes they may just have two pistons or in this case, this picture will have four pistons and that applies greater pressure. So if you're coming to a stop at a fast speed, you need that brake pressure. You need that more power to stop that car from going very fast. Uh, single uh, piston ones that are on mostly, usually these uh, sliding floating ones, uh, their advantages is that they're basically cheaper. So if you, they're used for small daily drivers and uh, lightweight cars. So uh, if you got a basic small car like a Chevy Cruze or a Toyota Corolla that's lightweight that you use as your daily driver and you don't race it, you don't need these kind of uh, pistons, you don't need that extra power, it's just your daily driver, you're not going to go fast. So it's, like I said, cheaper and it saves you money. Uh, so then we go on to uh, brake problems. So some brake problems that you experience with cars is uh, the most common one, brake noise. And uh, brake noise, one of the most common ones causes of brake noise is simply your pads are low. Pads have to be replaced. There, uh, there really isn't a mileage for them. It's just simply once they wear down. And uh, in the automotive world, we generally say that they should be replaced at 2 millimeters. Different car manufacturers may say different ones, but the general is usually 2. Once they get to 2, you should start replacing them. And some of these... Uh, on the brake pads, they'll even have a little, uh, a little wear indicator that once it gets down past that indicator, that little piece of metal will start scraping on these uh, rotors, 
and sometimes it'll actually make the noise when you're not braking. When you press on it, that noise goes away. That's your indicator scratching on the rotor telling you that your pads are below two and you need to replace them. Uh, <clears throat> another common cause is a uh, rotor run out. And that's what I have this picture here. This picture is a, a one of a rotor. You notice how I have these squiggly lines, unlike straight right here. That's uh, due to rotor run out. It's uneven wear across it. So if you have a nice flat brake pad against that and the, the it contact at different spots, when this rotates, it'll hit in different spots and that'll cause a noise. So usually in that case, if it's not too bad, you can turn your rotors, which takes layers off it and gets it down nice and flat, but it's real bad, you should usually a lot of times replace the rotor, but depends on how bad it is. Uh, another problem that can uh, cause brake noise is uh, your wheel bearings, and your wheel, wheel bearings could be due to that. So if you have a bad uh, uh, rotor like that, and you replace the rotor in the pads, a little bit, you know, maybe 3,000, 5,000, maybe last 10,000 miles, that'll all come back again due to that wheel bearing causing this uh, rotor to rotate unevenly. Uh, another problem is uh, a pull. Usually uh, when one side works, so say you have a clogged brake line and uh, when you press on the brake, let's say the right side doesn't work, those brakes aren't being applied, only the left side is being applied, your car will pull to the left side. That's actually a common ASC question for brakes. This will say uh, during braking a, a car pulls to the left during braking what could be the cause of it and the answer is is uh, seized up or uh, clogged off right caliper on the right side so brakes when braking when the car pulls it usually pulls to the side that is working not to the side that's not working and uh, that's basically it on uh, disc brakes next video will be on drum brakes thanks for watching and please subscribe